Hey there, Trevor Scott in Chelsea here with the incredible Thomas Danbo, a recycled artist and activist. We're here in Peace Park on what, Thomas, I think you brought us the most beautiful Austin spring day, and for a very good reason, right, Chelsea? Yeah, that's exactly right. So now we are one of the lucky cities to have our very own recycled troll sculpture. It's one of many throughout the country. Throughout the world. Throughout the world, yeah. that's right. Thank you so much for meeting with us today. Can you tell us more and share more about this exhibit? Yeah, so this uh, troll that I'm building here is uh, it's my first one in the, in Texas, my first one in Austin. Oh my gosh. Uh, I heard so much about this beautiful city <laughs> and I'm happy to finally be here. This will be my number 129th recycled giant troll scope. Well, 129 so of these. We yeah. are really lucky, Chelsea. <laughs> and to be here too. So we've, we've said the word recycled a, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Explain that, how that inspires your work and why that's important, especially with the kind of the idea of the troll. Yeah, so all my work is made of it, of trash. Yep, th that's basically my mission as an artist. It is to make big projects that shows us that we can make big and beautiful things out of our trash with our old, own hands. Yeah. Uh, I because I, I think I can see, like everybody else can see, that, that we are becoming more and more humans and we are building bigger and bigger things and this is creating more and more trash. So slowly the world is running out of resources and then we are drowning in our own, tr own, own trash, right? right. Mm -hmm. But also, we all know the saying that one man one woman's trash is another man's treasure, right? right yeah. So I think if we understand the full meaning of this and see that trash is a treasure, it's wealth and it's opportunity, then we don't have to drown in our trash, then we can just use it to build a beautiful world. And mm. that's my mission to show people that we can do this with art. Something like this, I'm wow. getting a lot of cedar roots that a local guy called Greg, he's ripped out of the, the ground from the, some construction places. And then this will be the hair, a head of a troll is something like this big here, huh. like six, seven, five, six, seven feet in diameter. Um, and it's sitting, a secret spot in a forest, a little bit over here in the back in the in, in the Peace Park. Uh, but but it's, this one here is made of also cedar that comes from a water tower that was decommissioned at the J.J. Pickle Research Center here in Austin. Wow. And then we also get a lot of pallets and then, yeah, like some stones and stumps and the cedar here and different things like that. Very but cool. actually, I don't only work in wood. I try to, because my mission is to educate about trash. So I try to work in different mediums also. And right now I'm working on a troll that um, sits under a big blanket and it's hiding, like, oh. you know, like you're playing hide and seek with yeah. a little kid or something. Yeah. And then this, I'm doing this together with a company that puts up awnings and then they also decommission old awnings. So we're doing a big workshop where people come together and sew a big patchwork blanket Very that the cool. troll is then hiding under. So it's like, oh, oh wow. wow. And then you can then walk in and then be inside the tent together with the with troll, the troll oh, that's okay. hiding in the forest. Yeah. What a cool moment that must be for people to see that from the outside and then join yeah. the troll underneath. Exactly. How cool. Yeah. So does that mean that is your favorite out of all the trolls you've done? Uh, it's, it's one of my favorites right now. <laughs> but I also think because I have two small boys, right? So n right now I'm, I'm the scale that the humans are to the trolls. Oh. I'm that scale for me to my small boys. <laughs> right. So when I played hide and seek with my boys, I did that and then I was like, oh, this would oh. be cool. Yeah. If, yeah. I, I gotta say, how perfect is it that our Austin troll is gonna have cedar root hairs because <laughs> cedar is definitely right. a thing here. Yeah. People will be happy to see that, but to use. Does this troll have a story? What is the inspiration? Yeah. This troll is uh, about water. Uh, all my different uh, trolls are kind of like has different characters and are doing different things and have different stories. And when I got here to the park, uh, it was in uh, August, uh, late August last year, and it was really, really hot. That, that people would put up uh, like uh, water feeders for the birds and for the squirrels mm. in the park here because it gets so hot and so dry. Yeah. And, um, and then I could also understand that the creek, like many other places in the world where we have free running water in big cities, it gets polluted and contaminated so that the animals actually don't really enjoy drinking it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but then I noticed that there were so many people exercising and running back and forth and biking <laughs> with small human fountains with refillable bottles. And then I thought I should make a troll that encourages the humans to take their water bottle and share a little bit of water in the fountain for the, for the animals and for the birds. Oh, oh, I, yeah. love I love that, Thomas, that's amazing. That's so beautiful. Incredible. Yeah. What's next for you? What's your goal? My goal, like my big goal, it is to make a thousand trolls. I've <laughs> named my big fairy tale is right now to make one in each state all over America. And I have now 15 states. That's yeah. incredible. That's really cool. And I know you've kind of gathered all of this, this journey, this idea where it all began, gosh, what? To 10 years ago in 2014 in right. a very cool book that people can kind of take up and follow along on this journey. 
Yeah, yeah, this is my book. It's called Trash, Trolls and Treasure Hunts. <laughs> Cute. Because I may build it from trash, it's trolls, and then I like to make treasure hunts for people to go and find them and different things. So there's always like riddles in my stuff in the troll alphabet that children have helped me design through my social media. Oh, wow. And then there's my whole story about like how I dumpster dive and, and how we build everything. And, and in the back of the book, you can then see the list of all the first 100 trolls that wow. I have. And if you want to see the updated list, you can see them on my website, thomasdainbo.com slash troll map, where there's that online map where you can read all my poems and all my fairy tales and see all the trolls and where they are all over the world. Oh my gosh, that, that is, is so neat. really, really yeah. special. So what is it that you hope Austinites in particular, when they come visit Peace Park, which is a beloved green space in this city, what is it that you hope that they come away with when they visit your troll? I hope they get a big of a whimsy and a, and a little <laughs> smile and uh, yeah, just have a good experience and then I also hope that they will, will look at it and then think, oh, did he make that out of some trash just from here in Austin? And then think twice next time they go to empty their trash can because maybe there is a fairy tale or someone's dream hidden in people's trash. So think twice before you empty it and see if you could gift it to someone for whom it's a treasure. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I, beautiful. That, is, God, that gave me the chills on a beautiful spring day. That is so amazing. Thomas, welcome to Austin and thank you so thank much. You we so could all much. use a little more whimsy in our lives, That's right, Chels? Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you and thank you for having me. And oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And for more videos like this, check out our We Are Austin playlist.